Hello, this is James Dewar, your host of the Bernie Radio Home and Ranch Show, and we're back with Christina O'Connor with Pilgrim Mortgage. Hi, James. Great to be here. And, and you're going to play a significant role because you're sponsoring the show, and you're going to play a significant role. What is that role going to be? I'm here to answer absolutely any mortgage question that you could possibly come up there with. There you go. And I'm going to have you as co-hosting sometimes and whenever you want to jump in uh, because you have that wealth of information that uh, you have a passion for burning, and I know you have a passion for, for mortgages. So, you know, if we, if we uh, kind of look at Pilgrim Mortgage, I mean, I go to Pilgrim Mortgage. Just go to Pilgrim Mortgage and type in Christina O'Connor. Pilgrim Mortgage, Christina O'Connor, and it, bang, it comes right up. And uh, tells all about Christina, and we, our listeners are going to know more about Christina uh, over at, over the years. And uh, but I'm reading this about you, and tell me in your words what makes Pilgrim Mortgage different than working. Now, if I just go online, I'm always getting barraged by all these ads for online mortgage companies, these big box mortgage companies. Is a credit union, a bank? I mean, what makes Pilgrim Mortgage tick? Why do I call Pilgrim Mortgage? Well, the reason that I'm at Pilgrim Mortgage is I want to work for a mortgage banker. I want to have the abilities to shop the interest rates and programs of all sorts of lenders. So I, I have 17 different lenders that I get rates from on a daily basis. Um, some lenders offer different special financing programs than others. Okay. So I started my career over 20 years ago with a big box bank. So, and, so you started at age 10 or uh, 5? or You're being kind. You're being kind. But... Um, Over time, I realized that not only did I lack control working at a big box bank Mm -hmm. because my processing, my underwriting, my closing was being handled in a different city or state than I am, um, I also didn't have the wealth of products to be able to assist all of my clients, right? We really want to do what's best for every single client. And I found myself steering people away to other lenders because I didn't have the right program for them. And now you do. And now I can do almost anything. So just give me an example. I mean, what's a success story that just recently that you can tell our listeners? Well, just listening to you talking about the financial planning aspect and and why you're passionate um, to help clients the way that you do, as well as the other sponsors on the show, I'm passionate about your financial future. I think if done right, a mortgage is a strategic process. Your financial situation is different than your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your friends. And too many people in this day and time don't take the time or have the desire to have interaction with an actual person. This is what I fear for our future, for our children, because everything has become so automated that when you apply with a big box bleh, with a big box bank or with a credit union and you tell them what kind of kind of mortgage you want, they're going to give you what you told them what right. what you wanted, not have an expert that's done this for over 20 years to strategize with you based on your short-term and long-term financial goals to make sure we're structuring it specific to you. So the example, one of my biggest success stories, I had some clients, I used to, to um, run a, a, a builder's mortgage company. So um, I did half a million to about a million and a half dollar houses. And I had people in all different financial situations buying these houses. And one of the last ones that I did before I left, I had some clients in their 60s, and they had over $80,000 in credit card debt. They were planning to sell their current house and take all of the proceeds to put down on the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was about a 40% down payment. And wow, 40%. I, 40% down payment because that was all the proceeds. And um, I could not qualify them for a conventional loan. Oh, wow. So I was about to put them into an FHA loan. which And was, then you have lots of strings on there. There's all different <laughs> funky things involved with H- FHA. It would have cost them more in the long run for right. sure. I try to meet with all of my clients face-to-face. I think it's important whenever possible. Of course, now we're in the midst of COVID, so I'm doing a lot more virtual-type meetings. Mm -hmm. But these clients never would come in. And the husband worked crazy hours. The wife didn't work. So I scheduled an 8 o'clock at night meeting, and I sent them two different loan scenarios. I sent them the FHA with the 40% down that they wanted to see, or the only way I could give them the loan they thought they wanted, right? right? And then I showed them a 5% down conventional loan and suggested that they take 
$60,000 of those proceeds and pay off $60,000 worth of revolving credit card debt. Mm -hmm. So they sent me one American Express credit card statement and they were paying over $500 a month in interest alone to American Express. And they had department store credit cards. So I know the rates on those department store cards were higher. Mm -hmm. So my proposal was take $60,000, pay off 60 grand of your 80 something in credit card debt. We're going to reduce $2,500 a month in minimum credit card payments for you. Take the $2,500, Apply it towards the remaining balance, twenty thousand dollars or so. You'll have all of your credit card paid, credit card debt paid off in a year, and then you'll have thirty five hundred dollars a month in minimum credit card payments that you can be saving. Start applying that towards the principal of your five percent down conventional mortgage. You'll have your twenty percent equity in no time. And by the way, the interest rate with the private mortgage insurance mm-hmm. that they had to pay right. is lower than the interest rate that they would have gotten putting twenty percent down. But but people, I mean, there's no way you could do that online or big box. And it's just no, it's no. amazing. The wife said, uh, you know, we've paid this for a very long time and we're comfortable. Thank you for your insight. The husband started whispering, honey. I think we, I really think we need to think about this. this no I said, you guys, you know, I'm going to do the loan the, any way that you want me to. Right, right. So I suggest tonight you guys pull all of your credit card statements and look at what you're paying on everything. And you tell me tomorrow how you're going to ever retire. Mm-hmm. You're 66 years old. And I don't see that in your future. And sure enough, the husband, all, I really expected to wake up to an email. Like, forget it. you know, telling yeah. me either yeah. she hated me and I was fired or, you know, whatever. Um, he called at one o'clock the next afternoon and said that they had a talk like they've never had in their 40 year marriage. And he wow. cried. He yeah, thanked me really. for say he felt like this was saving him because he couldn't sleep. He had no plans to retire or no, no retirement in sight. And that's what I love. Every day I have a new puzzle to solve mm-hmm. because I care about my clients. And that's what you were saying about me. I have a passion for real estate. You have a passion for mortgage. And I, I try to get my clients, I mean, I try not to intervene too much, but everybody needs to have uh, a relationship with their with their mortgage company because of the home buyer, buyership. I mean, the home is probably their biggest purchase in their, their life. They need to have a financial advisor relationship. They need to have a CPA. They need to have a lawyer. They need to have a good mortgage broker because I guarantee you, you're going to buy more than just one house in, during your lifetime. You need somebody you can communicate with and stay in touch and learn about it. And I do want to talk about, since we were talking about, you know, financial advisors, the same uh, fiduciary experience they, they want to give their clients is Wells Fargo Advisors, one of our clients or one of our sponsors. And uh, then, like you, they're one of the first ones to jump up and say, hey, we want to sponsor this show. We want to be part of Bernie uh, Radio and the Bernie Home and Ranch Show. And so uh, Wells Fargo Advisors, they already said, uh, you know, do current events have you worried about your financial well-being? So these are questions that are, are you still confident about your current investment plan? Mm-hmm. Do you even have an investment plan? That's what I was alluding to before. More, more people spend time doing their vacations than doing their vacation plan. I mean, doing their vacation plan, they do their retirement future. But when you meet with Scott Velasci with a Wells Fargo advisor, he has a proven client-centered process that can provide you with the clarity and confidence you deserve. So I urge you to contact Scott today at 830 830- Four two eight two three five two. Again, he's with Wells Fargo Advisors, and he'll sit down with you for a consultation. Again, Scott's number is eight three zero four two eight two three five two. And as always, you can find Pilgrim Mortgage. You can find Wells Fargo Advisors on BernieRadio.com. Any last things that, uh, like, you've been doing this for? What I, what I want to know is like, uh, what is the hardest thing when somebody says, "Hey, I want to buy a ranch. I want to buy a house." They need a pre-qualification letter. Tell our listeners about that. Um, It's a very simple process. Um, You can, I can send you instructions on how to apply on my website. I can take an application by phone. You can apply on your phone, whatever we can do to make your life easy. And really what a mortgage is, an application is a two-year work history and a two-year address history about how much you make and about how much you have in the bank to get started. But if you don't call Christina and have that document. You can't submit an offer without a pre-qual letter. You can't. I mean, most people won't even let you view the house if you don't have a pre-qual letter. And back to the big box bank or the credit union, 
it's the information is as good as what you give them. So I'm a big believer in getting all of my income and asset documentation right off the bat to make sure that everything lines up. There's a saying in our industry, buyers are liars. Mm -hmm. I know you've heard it because everybody wants to blame the buyer when something goes sideways. But the truth is buyers aren't liars. They just don't understand the implications of some of their financial decisions as it pertains to mortgages. Mortgages are not necessarily logical. Truthfully, we use gross income Mm -hmm. and you live on your net. So there's so many intricate details uh, to, to definitely keep in mind and having a great team in place from the financial um, advisor to the realtor to the CPA, uh, we certainly cross. Yeah, and we got so many questions that are going through my mind that, that we're gonna we're gonna uh, process and learn about in future shows. Mm-hmm. And then uh, in our last segment today, we're gonna have a, a Amy Story, who is the president and CEO of the Kendall County Economic Development Corporation, and that's why this is so hot areas because the Kendall County Economic Development Corporation and the Chamber. And, and behind the scenes, people like that, making Bernie the place to live. So that's why it's critical, important, they call Christine O'Connor at 210-414-7534. Because if you don't, you know, if you're not ready to, to, to make that offer, that house is gone. It's well, a hot market. And truthfully, talking to a lender sooner rather than later can put you in a much better financial position. Mm -hmm. So if you think you're going to buy in the next year, talk to me now because the guidance that I can give you now to prepare for a year from now or two years from now can save you an incredible amount on the interest rate that you receive and therefore you can afford more house with the same payment. And if you haven't refinanced yet, you really need to talk to me because rates are phenomenal. So we need to take advantage while they're still low. Well, we'll look, uh, look forward to having you in our last segment with uh, Amy Story, the Kendall County Economic Development Corporation. Christina, I look forward to having you co-hosting the, the show and uh, telling us all about how to get a mortgage and how, to, how to, to, uh, to build that relationship with the mortgage broker. Absolutely. We love what we do. Thank you very much. Thank you.